look at our Xfinity big connections on and off the field. And we, we kind of hit on this a little bit, but Marcus Freeman gets to play against his alma mater. And as a linebacker at Ohio State from 04 to 08, he was a two-time all-Big Ten second-team selection. Very, very short cup of coffee in the NFL. Had to cut it short because of injury and then has come back to be just a highly successful coach and already in year two at Notre Dame looking like he took clear lessons from year one, looking like yep. he understood and learned from those mistakes early. And when you talk to him, you can hear just how thankful he is that he made those mistakes up front in his first year, not in a maybe massive moment towards the end of year one where he had an opportunity because now he feels like he has the team to really compete. But with all that being said, I just know how difficult it is. I don't care who you are. I don't care how many games you've called. I don't care how many games you coach. I don't care how many games you've played in. Whoever you are going up against an alma mater or a former team, that, that's never easy to do. There's always emotion involved. I think it's going to be the case for Sam Hartman later this year when Notre Dame faces Wake Forest towards the end of the season. And so how does Marcus Freeman handle it maybe differently than he yeah. did a year ago? I think that's one of our main question marks heading into this game. Well, I, I think he's a, a more mature head coach, right? I mean, this is the second time now, so it won't be nearly as emotional as it was the first time. It won't be nearly as emotional as it was going into Columbus to do it as it will be, you know, being at home in South Bend. I think he'll handle that part of it fine. The other thing is he's just matured as a coach because he's got more games under his belt and his team – this isn't the opener like it was last year. Yep. They've got four wins under their belt right now. So they they feel like they are pretty good. They got a good understanding, a good feel for their team and their personnel. Uh, they, they don't have the question marks about their team, maybe, that they had going into a week one matchup a year ago. So it's it's very different, and I think Marcus Freeman will handle it, in, uh, in a, and his team will handle it in a much better fashion. Plus, Sam Hartman gives them a chance – uh, to be different and and to hope for a different outcome than they would have had last year. Couldn't agree more. And then speaking of his team, there is the other Xfinity big connection on and off the field, and that would be Javante Jean-Baptiste, who transferred in this year to Notre Dame from Ohio State at that defensive line spot. He had 53 total tackles, eight sacks for the Buckeyes. He already has 15 tackles for Notre Dame through the first four games, and that was the key for him. Got a chance to talk to him before that Navy game, and, and he said he looked at this opportunity with Notre Dame as a place to still play even more than he did probably in Columbus and compete for the college football playoff, compete for national championships. He has felt that culture since getting to South Bend. But, again, if you're going against your former team, and for him, his former teammates, that's going to feel a little bit different. Yeah, it will be. I mean, he'll, he'll have battles in the trenches uh, that will remind him of what it was like in practice. You know, when he was in Columbus – going against Buckeye offensive linemen. But, you know, look, nobody has had better defensive line success over the last few years, any more so than Ohio State. Larry Johnson, the defensive line coach, is one of the best assistant coaches in all of college football. He was at Penn State before he went to Ohio State. His son, Larry, was the great running back for Penn State and the yep. Chiefs. Uh, but he is an outstanding developer of defensive linemen and uh, – and, and they've got another stout defensive line this year. And a guy like Gene Baptiste, you know, maybe isn't going to be as many reps there. He goes to Notre Dame and he's playing at a very high level. And a lot of that just goes back to the training he had at Ohio State. Mm, excellent point.